what's going on everyone my name's captain crush if you're new to my channel what i do is i cover nba and nfl in detail and i also cover some good game theory and advice to help you become a winning daily fantasy sports player you can count on videos monday through friday normally sometimes monday through saturday and even sometimes i'll throw in a crispy sunday or seven day a week video but this week it's holidays i took yesterday off but i was able to post a video for thursday and it absolutely did fine it had some nfl plays a little bit of turkey giblets metcalf let us down but the rest of them i'm pretty sure came out w so i hope you had a happy thanksgiving and a good black friday i think i came out ahead on black friday i didn't buy a dang thing so that right there is a w so enough about that let's talk about today i got two nba players that i'm going to discuss today that i think you should consider at best in your contest and maybe just maybe they can help you find the way to get a w if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button if you're a soldier that's already bound to the mix and you're in the mix and you come to get your daily dose of crush you best smash that like button i'm almost at 10k subs and the giveaway will alarm once we get to 10k and i will do a giveaway and you'll all be invited so without further ado let's break down these nba games we have six today total and we have one that sticks out like a sore thumb like you on prom night it's sticking out and it has to be addressed it's an eyesore the atlanta hawks game versus your washington wizards is going to be a barn burner at least on paper it is can it live up to the hype the pacers and the hawks did maybe this one will too maybe we get 275 points again or 350 whatever it was it was absolutely off the charts maybe we can get that maybe we can't we'll have to wait and see now it's such a high total we have to get exposure to it right well if you follow crush's principles you do so let's dig through this dumpster and see what we got so you automatically know we're gonna have to talk about trey young he is the atlanta hawks offense him and dejounte murray lead it up they're in an elite spot a pace up spot no defense played for the wizards no defense played for the hawks i love this spot on paper it's mint but the question becomes captain crush what do we do do we take his pra do we take his points do we take his assists do we take his fantasy score what do we take his points assists well my friends my brothers in christ i got bad news and good news the bad news is model doesn't like any of it points assist fantasy score pra it's telling me to take under my own proprietary personal models telling me to take under you think i'm gonna listen to it absolutely not not in this spot i'm not i'll be danged if i'm gonna let the atlanta hawk washington wizard game go without me targeting trey young 46 and a half fantasy score it's in play my only fear the only fly in the ointment trey he's a turnover machine i've seen him get 10 in a game yes 10 turnovers that's minus 10 points for the layman that's new to this every turnover they take away a point for fantasy score so if the turnovers got you scared you can go over here to the pra but wait trey's not one to grab a lot of rebounds so what i really like is his points assists i'm either gonna be on his points assists even though a model hates it or just his points or maybe i will stick to the fantasy score i'm not sure but one of these three needs to be in your brain and targeted for those of you that are in the discord you'll be able to see my projections you'll know what i'm talking about for those of you that are just youtube faithful you got to come up with one of these things that you want to play you got to have some exposure if i can't sell you on trey young which i know he's a tough sell can can I interest you in some DeJounte Murray? Maybe a little bit of a side of Trey Young, a little wombo combo? DeJounte Murray, 30 and a half PRA. It just seems like a Popeye's crispy chicken sandwich. It's good after every bite. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to take his PRA, maybe, just maybe, you go to his fantasy score. I'm not really worried about him getting turnovers. He has a 44-40 ceiling. Look at this, 60 burger versus Detroit. So technically, his ceiling is probably 65, his true ceiling. His floor is probably 22. Let's be real here, okay? So so his PRA or his fantasy score, if you think he has any block in steel equity or if he's going to get a lot of assists, I would highlight his fantasy score. His PRA, it's also in play. Maybe even just his points at 20 and a half. You need exposure to this game, folks, if you're taking overs. You got to do it. It's just whatever happens, happens. But when you see that type of a point total, you just got to take your shot. You're not going to get a better spot than that, folks. So DeJounte Murray or Trey Young, one of the two. And then on the other side of the ball, which they don't have up right now, they don't have 
any wizards up anymore. I don't know what happened. I'm recording this video live. So maybe, just maybe, news broke. I'll have to wait and see. But I will tell you guys this. Kyle Kuzma, that's your run back for the other side. If you want to run back, you take Kyle Kuzma's fantasy score. And that's what I would take as a run back. Again, news must be breaking because there's none of them on the board. And they were there earlier. So that's what I have to say. I won't be targeting Jordan Poole. In fact, I took less on his PRA. But Kyle Kuzma, Gafford, either one of those guys would be people that you need to consider. Remember, we're all about finding the good spot and getting exposure to it. That's it. It's that simple, boys. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, man, Captain Crush, you look like your tired brother. I am exhausted. It's been a long week. I'm growing a beard. I always have a beard, but I'm trying out to get one of those long chiseled beards and I'm seeing if I can take this in between stage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it much longer. It's kind of, but I know I'm looking kind of rough, but that's neither here nor there. We're digging through this dumpster and we're probably going back to the goat. Historically, he crushes the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, will he do it tonight? Well, let's take a look. 44, 36, 63, 57, 65. You know the goat has a ceiling of 100. Let's be real, okay? He's the modern goat for those of you that are going to be in the comments crying. He's the modern goat, okay? I, I'll give that disclaimer, the caveat. Now, if the game somehow stays competitive, I don't see how LeBron doesn't get his fantasy score. But what I'm going to take for Mr. LeBron is going to be his crispy 26 and a half points. I've been targeting his points for a while now. Sometimes it hits. Sometimes it doesn't. Look at this. He hooked this line the other time. Utah was a blot. Houston 37, 20, 35, 28. The man can drop 50 anytime he's on the court if he wants to. It's rare. It barely happens if ever, but it can be done. So once again, pretty sure my model has him going for 25, maybe right at 26 right now. I'm not exactly sure, but I am taking this because of the narrative, the matchup, and he should be fresh. I will always target LeBron when his points are around this point total, or you can go to his fantasy score. I'm not really sure if I like his ancillary stats today. Six and a half assists, it's always in play, but eight rebounds seems like a lot for this particular matchup. But again, the GOAT's always in play, and I'm going to bounce on over to my notepad right quick, really quick. LeBron James, 1.48 fantasy points per minute with a 30% usage rate, my friends. 1.48 times 35, you're going to get over 46. It's simple math. And while I'm here, Trey Young, 1.35 fantasy points per minute with a 30% usage rate. And the man that I'm going to talk about next, Luka, 1.65 fantasy points per minute with a 34% usage rate. Luka, he crushes, absolute crushes the clip. Or so that's the narrative that everyone says because he's been dominating a couple times. Hey, I'm all about a good narrative, my friends. Birthday, revenge, you name it, I'm on it. So Luka Doncic, you just made the list. But what do we take for Luka? Well, they don't have a fantasy score, which would be my go-to. So I took his PRA at 48 and a half. I took a gamble at 31 and a half points. I was able to get it early at 30 points, 30 and a half points. They bumped it up to 31 and a half, but I still like it. I think he gets 32 or 33 tonight to be 100% honest. So PRA or points is fine. If you want to take his fantasy score when they release that and get access to all of it, including those turnovers, those pesky turnovers, I'm begging you to get rid of them, prize picks. We're begging you, man. You can take his fantasy score. So we got these three so far that I've talked about. There's another guy that I want to talk about. Is he still on the board? Is he here? Joel Embiid. There he is, the former MVP. He's absolutely in play in this matchup. Pace up spot, decent total. I like it today. I don't like that it's an early game. I hate these split slates. We got two at four and four at six. My brother, Sterling, why don't you just combine them all and give us what we need? A full slate. Yeah, I call him Sterling. His name's Adam Silver, but Joel Embiid, five assists. Give me more. It's going to be a sweat. I'm telling you right now, if you're that guy that's emotional, like half the cord, and you're just sitting there in the chat and you, you sweat every moment, every play, everything, because you're just degen dripping and pouring off of your face and shoulders, it's not for you because this will be a sweat. It's not going to be cleared at half. It's not going to be anywhere near that. It's going to come down to the wire, but five assists for Mr. Joel Embiid. I'm taking it. And look at this last five. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know this. This is scary. Five, nine, eight, seven, six. He's due regression, but my model has him going for what? 6.5 or something crispy like that. And when I get a one and a half point differential on assists, my brother and buddy, I'm taking it. And I don't care whatever happens, happens. Another good one for you, Alabama faithful. I'm going to do two combo props. Shy and Joel Embiid, 63 and a half points combo over. And the other one I got, ooh, let's go find it. Where you at, Jones? 
Did they take it off the board? Yeah, they took it off the board. They took it off the board because they took all the Wizards props off the board. I don't know what's happening. News is breaking and I'm behind the eight ball. But it's Tyus Jones and Trey Young assists over. It was already on my prop list for the day for the Discord. That's my two combo props that I like. But since that's off the board, let's see if we got anything else up here. Wow, it's slim pickings for combo props right now, boys. They're being stingy. Probably Jimmy Butler and Mikel Bridges, 49 and a half points total. I'd probably take under on that, honestly. That, I'd probably take less on this because I don't like Mikel Bridges. I know he chucks shots, but Jimmy Butler's on a back-to-back -back and he doesn't seem like he's going to be interested. He's never interested. So that would probably be the combo props that I like but again I'm not high on those but I do like this Joel Embiid one okay so unfortunately it's early and the board doesn't have a lot of stuff up here to talk about guys normally I have a lot of stuff to talk about but there just ain't it I will give you a couple of dart throws real quick okay I'm gonna go fast and then I'm gonna give you an NFL play that I like an NFL player two that I like actually Tobias Harris fantasy you can target it always in play Shy Alexander's fantasy always in play I totally lost my train of thought but I was talking about Clint Capella and I said he's in play in this matchup i just had a situation happen a drink was spilled and things went down but that's neither here nor there let's get back on track clint capella you can target him his fantasy score is always going to be in play again the board is limited d'angelo russell he's another one of those guys that's a dart throw 28 fantasy for a guy who has a ceiling of 50 it just seems a little bit too low but he's in play all right so i went over the core plays i went over the darts I'm going to talk about an NFL play that I like, and then I'm getting out of here, folks, because it just isn't meant to be. It's a short video. I got things to do, people to see, and we got to get these holidays over with. So the man that I wanted to mention is none other than the Rook. Tank Dell, 60 and a half receiving yards versus the Jaguars. The Jags are a mess right now. They're still a solid team, but they still have a lot to figure out. They need to get figured out quickly as we're heading into the tail end of the season. But Tank Dell has been an absolute animal as of late, and I will continue to ride that train. If you don't want to take his receiving yards once they post his fantasy score up here, I would take it. This is also not that bad of a prop as well, but that's what I got for NFL. I'll have a full NFL list for those of you that are in the dub club, as well as model projections and game stacks for you guys and if you want to get involved in that it's captaincrush.net gold package right there by now $24.99 a month or you can buy six months for the price of five so my friends my brothers in christ with that i bid you adieu i appreciate you coming by remember to smash the like button and give your boy a like because i'm doing these videos when it's absolutely impossibly hard right now with the holidays and everything but i appreciate you guys stopping by if you're new to the channel give me a subscribe and with that being said here's the salute good luck in all your contests and let's crush.